In this quick tip video, we're going to be looking at swapping a single axis for a polar axis in order to maximize the work envelope of a machine tool. On my screen, I have a part that we will be facing, a very large plate, and it, currently it is on a larger machine, so the machine is capable of actually doing this in just a linear motion. What we will be doing is actually swapping this machine out with a Haas UMC 750. Now if I activate my machine, you can see that this is a much smaller work envelope, and the plate, being as large as it is, we may not be able to reach this. Now I can see this if I simulate the part. Power Mill has brought up a warning basically stating that it cannot reach the desired location. Now the first thing I want to do is to be able to determine which axis is best to swap out for a polar. So I'm going to right click on my machine tool. I'm going to open the positions page. With the positions page open, I can actually investigate which axis may be best. Now with this, I can see on this machine tool that the Y axis has the least amount of work envelope involved. And therefore the X axis would be the axis that I want to continue to be able to move in. So I'm going to use the Y axis to swap with my polar rotational axis on my C. With that knowledge in mind, I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings of my toolpath. I'm going to clone this toolpath. 5-axis UMC Polar. Now within the machine axis control, under the orientation type is where we'll actually find the ability to activate our polar coordinate system. Options underneath the polar coordinate system are to be able to change the center of rotation, in which case our exact machine center of rotation, defined by this first axis here, is what we want to be able to rotate around. So we're going to go ahead and leave that selection on. And you can see that it's already set to the Y axis as far as what axis we want to lock. This allows the X axis to move and the Y axis to be the rotational axis. Now another important thing to note is that in your leads and links, you want to turn on use polar links. This allows the machine to use rotational moves to reposition the rapid movements of the machine. After that, we'll go ahead and hit calculate. I'll close the toolpath dialog, right click, and we'll simulate once again. And now you will see that the Y axis has been swapped out for the C axis. I hope you enjoyed this Power Mill Quick Tip video.